Hello again, everybody. I bought all these mini mating nukes last year uh, and painted them, but I haven't actually had a chance to use them yet. A lot of people have been writing about them. They don't like them, and they say they're too small, and if you don't keep an eye on them, uh, basically the queens start laying, and then very, very quickly they get honey-bound and too full of bees, and basically you know, the, the small amount of bees end up swarming, and it just becomes a bit of a nightmare in the spring, apparently. So, as lots of people, I thought that I would make some of these small honey supers that will then go on the top of these. I did find one online on Thingiverse, but it wasn't quite the right size, so I remade it exactly according to my dimensions, which is just a, a cheap honey super, a cheap poly, poly uh, nuke from China. I think they only cost about nine pounds and, and I printed this out to go on top of it. It fits very nicely and then the lid from the original poly nuke fits on top of it. So I thought after a couple of weeks if I don't get back to it, if I'm a holiday or something, I can put the honey super on top and then the bees have got something to do and I don't end up losing any queens that I have had mated. Obviously also 3D printed frames. Uh, I think this 3D printed box end up costing me about a pound or two pounds to print out in uh, in uh, plastic. So apart from it taking about 22 hours to print, it came out very well. So we've got two of these now. They're a bit of a tight fit, but they do fit on top of each other. Not very easy with one hand, but they do fit. Well, I hope you find that interesting. I'm going to make a um, time-lapse video of it being done, being printed out so you can see that as well. Anyway, goodbye for now.